Education East in Bauchi State has called on the National Assembly to ensure that the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board extend the validation of the expiring date of jams for many Nigerians to have access to tertiary institution. Trustee Visa Demo Imam reports. Comrade Abdullah Yelwa, a senior lecturer at the Abu Bakar Tatar Ali Polytechnic Bauchi. Saying the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board is more of revenue generating agency than giving access to Nigerian students for higher education. Every responsible government should be seen to actively participate in providing qualitative education to its citizenry because education makes it easy for governance, for people to be governed, but difficult for them to be insulin. And when you educate people, you have laid the foundation for peaceful coexistence and economic development and political, you know, emancipation. He added that multiple choices be selected by student is a source of concern. Perception of having first, second, third and fourth choice in the jam, you know, examination has become a mirage because it's not real in the sense that the only choice that is recognized is first choice. So you have to change institution if you cannot be admitted in the first instance and you have to change the department and you have to change course and so on and so forth. So why should JAM be deceiving Nigerians with all the number of choices whereas they are not useful? Let JAM accept that we have only one choice. And Some students on their part express concern about the cut of marks required by JAM for admission. JAM should think of a way to at least hotel the very particular marks. Because talking about institutions going for 100 and 80, 120, sorry, uh, 200, it's not that we are fighting about that. But there are a number of people that talent-wise, they are very smart and they are going in a long way in the aspect of academics. If there should be an agreed cut of point that will be given generally, something like 140 and 50 or 60, I want to believe a number of vulnerable masses and students will have the chance to study in the university. Stakeholders maintain that education is a pathway to prosperity, hence the need for government to give more priority to the sector. Adam Imam, Trust TV News, Bauchi.